Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Lush and Salty Aquariums. How are we doing? Well, I came home uh, today from work and it was a warm one here in Marin County and so I could hear the alarm from outside my door. The temperature had exceeded 84 degrees in my saltwater tank, which trips an alarm because heat in many ways is worse than cold for a saltwater fish tank. Obviously freezing temperatures is a complete death sentence, but give or take a few degrees, I'd rather go cooler than hotter. And so at 84, things can start to go wrong. First for your corals, the fish actually can tolerate it more than the uh, corals. That's why bleached coral events are happening all over the world. The oceans are warming um, and that's really the primary culprit. Obviously uh, more sunshine and the UV rays, but the um, temperature really is what uh, bleaches corals. Now I don't have any stony corals in here, any hard corals in here. I just have uh, LPS, not SPS. So. Those are large polyp stony corals and those are also called softies, mushrooms, polyps, things like that. Um, but no SPS or the uh, hard colorful corals uh, you see in fancier aquariums. Now this is a pretty fancy aquarium, but still, no SPS, no hard corals, just all these soft and fuzzy ones. So the higher temperature, uh, this bubble coral doesn't look so great. Um, this other bubble constricted, that could be early signs from too much heat, but basically all these corals and obviously the fish are doing pretty well. So what do I do? What should you do? if your temperature starts to spike and you cannot control it because outside is just too darn hot. So one trick is I set up a fan, hopefully near a cool source, but even if not, and I open the doors below where the sump is, which is the uh, storage water and the system for cleaning and filtering the tank, and I open the cabinet doors and I literally blow cool air into it. In more critical situations, uh, I've done this. I put bags of ice literally in the sump, and sometimes I just float them in here, and as the ice melts inside the bag, obviously it's fresh water, so that cannot really get into the tank, uh, so you keep them in big Ziplocs. It incrementally cools the temperature down. Now a system at this size, it's going to be, as I said, incrementally. But still, when I'm panicking and with fish costing 75 and higher and corals the same, plus they're my beloved creatures, I will panic and then the bags of ice go into the tank up top. Well, that was a real useful picture. And into the bottom, down here, boink. And then I run the fan, all those techniques I will do because I cannot really do a water change per se because I don't have RODI water, the proper water and cooling and cleaning and filtering tap water is just a huge pain in the butt and I'm just not ready to go that far. Now I have lost very few creatures to high heat. I have lost some but then I learned all these tricks. So since I've been doing these things, none of that stuff has happened. It's uh, mid-July and we got 90 plus degrees, uh, a quiet still house, the temperature spiked and everything looks pretty darn good. Uh, maybe the fish just looked at it as another hot day in paradise. So I hope this uh, was helpful for you and as always, keep your hands in the tank. Be extra careful during the hot summer months. Ciao for now.